What's up, everybody? Welcome back to King Me Sports, where we bring you the latest NBA rumors and topics with the focus on, of course, Heat Nation. And Heat Nation, if you're in here, make sure you comment those fire emojis in the comment section, hit the like button, and subscribe so you don't miss another video. And with that said, let's get to it, man. Today, we're going to talk about Marcus Garrett, the latest two-way contract signing by the Miami Heat. Because, you know, Miami Heat is all about finding diamonds in the dirt. So we trust the process and we're here for it. Now, if you haven't been watching the summer league games, let me put you up to speed, my guy. Garrett appeared in four summer league games with the Heat, where he averaged 11 points, 5.8 rebounds, 3.25 steals, 1.5 assists, while shooting 65.4% from the field and 42.9% from three-point range. That's pretty solid numbers right there. He helped Miami to a perfect 4-0 record before leaving his fifth game early due to an illness. Garrett is a three-time Big 12 All-Defensive Team selection and played all four seasons at the University of Kansas. He finished his career with 181 steals, tying the 10th most in program history and his 351 career assists were at 19th most. Yeah, another defensive addition to the Heat. I like it. But how does Garrett impact the Miami Heat roster? Well, if it weren't obvious, having another guard on the roster is going to provide some depth at the position. Before Miami signed Garrett, their point guard rotation consisted of Kyle Lowry, Gabe Vincent, and kinda Tyler Hero. While those three can handle the duties, having Garrett as an extra option is super important. By having an extra guard on the roster, the Heat have more options if something doesn't work out. His defense and playmaking will definitely help. Versatility plays a huge factor when considering how dominant Garrett is on the defensive end. The Heat don't really have a player quite like him on the bench. I mean, Vincent is a solid offensive player, but he's not as unique as Garrett is on defense. With Garrett around, Spolster will have a defensive-minded guard he can throw into the lineup. Now, when it comes to offense, Garrett can be on the court for his defense without the Heat losing much on the offensive end. He's not the offensive player that Hero or Vincent is, but he can still do the job effectively. Garrett's defensive capabilities provide some solid versatility off Miami's bench. His skill set fits in super well with the team. Now, it is important to realize the depth he brings to the Miami Heat will be invaluable, even if he can only play 50 games with this team, which is one of the restrictions of a two-way contract. At only 22 years old, Garrett still has a ton of room to grow as a player. Having Garrett on the team gives the Miami Heat another young player to work with and try to develop. It's always great to have young talent. But Heat Nation, you know what time it is. I want to know how you all feel about the Miami Heat and their first two-way signing of the year. Do you think Garrett can make a solid impact on this roster and grow into a long-term role for the Heat? Let me know in the comment section. And Heat Nation, as always, if you in here, leave those fire emojis in the comments so they know we ready. Till next time, it's King Me Sports. You know the vibes.